Today's lesson is on argumentation. What does argumentation mean? It is a process of reasoning that asserts the soundness of a debatable position, belief, or conclusion. What is argumentation used for? It is to convince others to accept your position, to defend your position, and to question a position you think is untrue. Now that you have an idea of what it is, how do you plan for an argumentation as Asian essay? First, you choose the topic, consider your purpose, what you expect your argument to accomplish, and how you wish your audience to respond. Second, you develop a thesis. Your thesis must take a stand and be debatable. For example, education is the best way to address the problem of increased drug use among teenagers. This implies that more than one possible solution to this problem exists. Third, you realize your audience. It's Analyze characteristics, values, and interests of the audience. Fourth, you gather and document your evidence. Evidence can be fact or opinion. Facts are statements that most people think are true and can be proven to be true. Facts are more convincing when accompanied with opinions or interpretations of facts. Opinions of experts are more convincing than those with limited knowledge. Documentation gives readers the ability to evaluate the sources you cite and to consult them if they wish, as well as avoid plagiarism. You don't need to document everything if it's common knowledge. Lastly, how to deal with the opposition. Do not ignore the other view of the argument. Make sure to mention the other sides. You can refute opposing arguments by showing that they are weak. Be careful not to distort an opponent's argument by making it seem weaker than it actually is. This technique, called a straw man, can backfire and actually turn fair-minded readers against you. Not all arguments are confrontational. Well, trying to prove the opposite position is wrong. Instead of confronting, you should quite find common ground, not being aggressively attacking. This demonstrates your respect and willingness to compromise with others. Using deductive arguments. It goes from a general assumption to a specific conclusion. Using strict logical form, deduction holds that if all the statements in the argument are true, the conclusions must also be true. Deduction is what most people mean when they speak of logic. Using inductive reasoning. It goes from individual observations to a more general conclusion. Requires that all relevant evidence to be stated and that the conclusion fit the evidence better than other conclusions. The, the Tulum and Logic. The claim is the main point of the essay. It's, warrant is the interference that connects the claims and the grounds. Recognizing fallacies. They are illogical statements that may sound reasonable or true, but are actually deceptive and dishonest. If detected, it can turn sympathetic audience against your position. Types of fallacies include begging the question, argument from analogy, argument ad homin, jumping to a conclusion, false dilemma, equivocation, red hearing, you also, appeal to doubtful authority, misleading statistics, post-hoc reasoning, and non sequitur. An argumentative essay, like other kinds of essays, has an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Now that you've learned about argumentation, are there any questions?